Hey, what's going on, guys? Well, let's do this problem right here. The first question is asking a negative charge if if pre tend to move from high potential to low potential, low potential to high potential toward infinity, away from infinity, in the direction of the electric field. So let's see how we can find this one. So here, first of all, we have to know what is high potential. High potential means it's a positive charge. So this is positive. And uh, this uh, low potential means a negative. So if a negative charge is free to free to move, it will tend to move posit toward the positive, right? So toward the positive because negative at like opposite attract, same charges repel. So if the if it is negative, it will go toward the positive and go away from the negative. So it's gonna go from low potential to high potential. Therefore, the answer for this one is B. Right, so let's look at this one right here. The metallic sphere of uh, radius 5 centimeter is charged such that potential of its surface is 100 volt relative to infinity. Which of the following plots correctly shows the potential as a function of distance from the center of the sphere? So, whenever we have a sphere and they provide radius, so we have a sphere with 5 centimeter, right? 5 centimeter, and they are saying the voltage is. 100, 100 volt and uh, let's see how we, how is the graph is going to be like so if it's 5 centimeter radius then 0 to 5 centimeter the voltage is going to be constant right constant then after that it will decrease exponentially it means after the radius if it's 5 to 10 it will become half like if it's 100 at 5 and then if it's 10 that's going to be at 50 or 10 then after 50 at 15 it's going to be 25 at 20 it's going to be 12.5 so it's going to it's going to decrease exponentially so let's see which graph matches that one and if you look at this first one and, uh, and also here we can see this one these two graphs are not constant from 0 to 5 so this is 5 right here and this is 5 so we know these two are not going to come in the answer right so these two are not a straight line right here. This should be constant under the radius. So this is not these two are not true. And let's look at these two. So here this one at five it is hundred. So that is right. And it's constant before that. But at ten, this should be fifty. If it's decreasing exponentially, it should be half of the value. So this is not true. Let's look at this one right here. Hundred five. At 10, it's 50. At 15, it's going to be 25. At 20, it's going to be 12.5. So it's going to decrease like that. So the correct answer for this one is this this one right here. This is the correct graph. And that's how we do these kind of problems. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.